Hey everyone, it's Robert Chinito here. I've got a video for you because let's see, let me get my words together. Well, people are making money with Genius AI. So people are making money right now in DeFi. And I don't know if that's you too, but I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna show you how people are making money with Genius AI because people are not talking about it. I mean, yeah, some people are talking about it here and there. Um, but the amount of people who are making money and not talking about it, I think the world's gonna wanna know this. Let's see, like, like with Genius AI, which I'm gonna tell you about here, uh, people make money with Genius Mining. Uh, they make money with something called whale hunting. Not the kind of whale hunting with harpoons, but more like the whale hunting where you click things and you look stuff up. And as well, vault arbitrage, which vault arbitrage is not exactly available at this moment. But check this out. Like, for example, you know, I'll show you how you can see this with with my account and how you can look on the blockchain and get that direct information. So heads up on this video. Uh, there's a lot of information in here. Um, I've been in crypto for almost 14 years. That's about the oldest that you can really find anybody that's been in crypto reasonably. And uh, ever since I've been doing this nonstop, I focused a lot on adoption and I focused a lot on what matters and where crypto is going. A lot of people want to make money and there's a lot of money making opportunities in crypto and there's a lot of safe money making opportunities in crypto. Excuse my whistle there, but it's safe as well. So I'll show you what this looks like, but heads up though, this is, it's not advanced, but you've got to know how to use DeFi in order to take advantage of this. If you don't know how to use DeFi, and yeah, let me give you some, some links here. Uh, if you look on the screen, one of the link would be t.me slash Jenny Crypto. Mm, Telegram is a bit rifle with, uh, with frauds and scams, but however, if you are a Telegram user, you'd be interested in that group. Uh, also, jenny.to slash discord. There's a discord chat room. You can get more information there. Um, and yeah, learn more about DeFi. It's the future, it's not going away, and it's a great way to make passive income. And it's like real passive income. Sort of like the pass kind of passive income you get when you put your money in a money market account, or you go to a bank, or you go to Charles Schwab, and you say, hey guys, can you make money for me? And they're like, yeah, we can make you maybe like five, 6%. That's what they tell you, and then the reality is worse than that. Now they probably tell you five to 10%, but the reality is worse. So you're gonna to need to know how to do these things. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do them here. I'm gonna go a little bit quick. And for you DeFi people, this is gonna be a nice treat. So here is start.jenny.app, the first part of this video, start.jenny.app. This is a doxed account of mine um, that I've been very open about being an account of mine. And in fact, for years, you can find an NFT on there that's robertjanito.crypto. It gets as obviously doxed as you can get. But here I have six genius miners that I've created. Now, when you create genius miners, for those who are new, when you create genius miners, you need to specify an amount of genius and you need to specify a commitment period or a number of promise days. More about that later. So here I have this one miner. Uh, the number at the top shows how many days it has served. Let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah, the, the number at the top of this like little circle thing is the number of days served and underneath it is the like the number of days that I promised to uh, to reserve this 80 million genius. Now today 80 million genius is worth like let's look it over here 0.123456601 times 80. It's like 500 bucks. Okay 80 million genius is about 500 dollars. And you can see my return on investment here is about 14. 8%, almost 15%. And I've been making 10.5% APY on that. Pretty cool. Let me click it. So uh, I could end this miner early. Like I could end it right now. Look, look. Let's get that back. I could end it right now. And let's see, in summary, the amount of genius I put up to create this miner about 500 days ago, 530 days, I think. Let's see. Yeah, five. 517 days, I'm sorry. There's the interest I've earned. And so if I were to end now, the estimated fees would be like this much. 
Well, I use Rabi Wallet and Rabi's pretty sweet. So what I can do is I can confirm this end binding and instead of signing the transaction, I can see here that cool, I made like $100 in interest. That's pretty neat. And let's see, and the gas is gonna cost me like a penny, a penny. So yeah, this is definitely worth it. So yeah, about $500 worth of genius. It really doesn't matter how much it was worth in the past. It could have been worth a lot more. It could have been worth a lot less. The reality is uh, I can make gains on this genius all day long. So here I've made like, if I end now, I will have only made like 3 million, 3.5 million. So let's see, 3.5 million. So like 23 bucks. So if I end now, I've made about $23. Cool. That's for the, for the small, relatively small amount of funds I put in there. That's a great return. All right. Not something you can live off of. But so here, so this is what the Genius app shows you. I'm gonna show you how to verify all of this on chain and how to look at how much other people are making and how to do a deep dive, like to see, you know, to see basically their miner. Okay, so let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, true, and Genius is on five chains. So if you had Genius on Ethereum, you also have it on Pulse Chain, free copy. And that free copy on Pulse Chain is worth much more than on Ethereum. Let's see. Oh, I was looking at the price of things on Polygon. That's actually right here. Okay, my bad, I made more than that. I made, okay, like 25 bucks. Because the price on Polygon uh, is more. Uh, since the beginning of the year, which is about here, and even before that, uh, Polygon has been on quite a rise. The price of Genius in Polygon it's been on quite a rise and it's pretty cool. And you see these big dumps and after these big dumps, you just see it recovering like crazy. I bet you anything it's gonna recover here too. Uh, why? Because Genius is in demand. People can get yield from it. All right, but back to the original story. So here's, here's Ethereum, prices all over the place. Um, and since the beginning of the year, the price on Ethereum for Genius, Genius for Ethereum is on a rise as well. The beginning of the year when lots of people love to liquidate and do their things, it's about double the price right now. Pretty cool. But I wanted to compare that with Pulse Chain. So Pulse Chain, let's see. Pulse Chain's been all over the place, but in general, it has been on a slow, steady incline uh, since the last 365 days. I, I think Pulse Chain's been around for a little more than a year, like maybe 380, 390 days, I don't know. And so this is also on a slight increase, but the value is higher. There's not so many zeros, then there's like a one. So yeah, so the price is about two thirds as much or 30% more. So for every $20, I actually have like $30 worth of genius on Pulse Chain. Cool. So let's see how people are doing in the real world here, all right? I have this little mining analysis sheet that I popped up. Um, to see how people are doing in the real world, well, first of all, you'll go to etherscan.io, right? Let me just start there. All right, so here's etherscan.io, right? And what you do is you type in genius for like the search bar area, and you wanna select the one that has jenny.app listed underneath it and also has a bunch of fours in the beginning. And this little, e, this little icon is called an eagleon. So you click that and look here under these transactions, right? And cool, looks like people are buying Genius. I mean, yeah, but this is what you wanna look at. You wanna look at these end minor things, these things that say end minor. These are good, these are good to look at. Now, Etherscan shows you how things are doing on Ethereum, the Ethereum chain, and Ethereum is expensive. It's expensive to transact on. Let's see, this looks like a relatively complicated transaction, one that paid fees and such. Let's see, and then here's release shares. This is where people are, let me look at a release shares thing real quick, just out of curiosity. Because if you know how to use like Genius, if you know how to use it like a little more advanced way of using it, you can find people's miners. You can find people's miners that people have not yet like. 
you know, when you have a commitment for mining, like this commitment that I have here, uh, you're also committing to end this on time. And so you're committing to end it in 530 days. So in 530 days, you're committing to like, to collect your rewards, basically to collect your income. And you have seven days after that as a grace period where you won't suffer any fee. But after seven days, what's happening is you're starting to, uh, you're starting to dilute everyone else's earnings and you end up getting charged like a premium for that. You end up getting charged a premium uh, to basically like, to basically compensate the loss that everybody else had as a result of you holding onto those shares still. People can release your shares for you. Um, they can only do it you know, once you're supposed to end. And when people release the shares for you, yeah, when people release the shares for you, that's when they, that's when they get a reward. And this is called whale hunting. People are calling this whale hunting for genius. But let's see how much this person made. They made 213,000 genius and they paid how much in gas to do this? Okay, they paid $1.22 to do this. So hopefully they made more than $1.22 in genius. All right, so let's do this much genius. And what is the price on Ethereum? Price is like five zeros, six, six, zero, one. So five zeros, six, six, zero, one. So this person made a dollar and 40 cents. Okay. They made a dollar and 40 cents and they paid a dollar 22 to do that. All right. They profited 20 cents. Cool. <laughs> All right. So there's a whale hunting for you. Now the real whale hunting that people are looking for, let's see, you know, people are looking to make more like, like millions of genius, right? But I don't see any other big release shares here. That's fine. So when you're looking through this list of transactions, you want to find the ones that say end minor, right? And as I can see here on the left side, there are two transactions for this. So money was moved multiple times within one transaction. Now this one looks like it was ended a little late. Let's see, let me find one that was ended on time and see how that person did. Why? Because I just feel like it might be a little easier to look it up. Wow, lots of people releasing shares and making a good chunk of change too. Dang. Like here, 442,000 genius was earned by releasing shares. Okay, that person made $2.90. Now these numbers I know aren't too interesting. Oh, and they paid a dollar fee, cool. Well, let's see. Let's see, more release shares. Wow, lots of people's shares were released. I wonder if anybody made like the amount in the millions. Dang, this is a lot of release shares going on. Looks like a lot of uh, miners forgot. Then again, there's also a lot of miners in this ecosystem. All right, end miner, end miner. Just searching on the page. Well, cool, let's look at this one. All right. So this is how you tell. Um, this person ended their miner and they I know they ended it on time because only their account was paid. So here's the account that called the end miner function. Starts with 4F81. And uh, only the owner of a miner is allowed to end the miner. Now there's something called forced shutdown, which is another form of whale hunting and you get a pretty sweet prize for doing that. But that happens like almost a year after someone has forgotten to end their miner. So anyone can do a forced shutdown when enough time has passed. However, in general, that's just the rules here. Whoever called this function, they own the miner. And seeing that only they were paid out, that means they didn't pay any fees. That's cool. All right, so to end this miner, it cost them $3.77. Cool. Let's look at some information about that miner. 
Uh, you click the log area to see information about the miners. And let's see. Okay, this was a... So seeing this DCA address, 4444, that tells me that this was a collateral miner. Let's see. And let's look at the information about the miner. Oh, dang. I don't remember all these parameters. <laughs> I think the first parameter is the miner ID. So let's say the miner ID is number three. And I'm pretty sure the very last item here is the credit issue rate that they originally did. So, okay, so this is minor number three. The minor number starts with zero, then goes to one, two, and three. All right, so in that case, I'm gonna look up this person's account. Let's go back here this account. In fact, if I look it up from here, here I'm back on the transaction page for the genius contract. Let's see, shows the genius token. And these are all the transfers, the transactions. Uh, this is who received the funds. If I open this account from here, uh, it's going to show me the genius token contract and it's going to show me it's going to filter uh, all these transactions by this account this account that i'm looking at all right so next i go um so there's there's all the transactions that they have done with genius with genius token so i go back to the details of their transaction where they ended the miner let me click logs again let's see all right, one of these says how many days the miner ran for. Oops. All right, it's either 150, oh, okay. I think this means they started on day 151. 151 plus 372. Yep, and they promised to run the miner for 372 days. Cool. All right, let's see how much they made then. But to figure out how much they made, I need to know their original principal. And let's see, there's two ways for me to figure that out. One is, well, I know that this is how much genius tokens they received. Quantity. So I know this is how much genius tokens they received, but what was their principal? What was their original amount of genius? So I'm gonna look for a number kind of similar to this, maybe like 90% of it, 0.9. Oops, 0.9 of, so maybe it was like 32, 32 million genius. Yep, there it is right there. <clears throat> okay, so when you look at uh, the end minor thing here, what you're gonna see is the very first item is the miner index. That's kind of like the identifier of which miner it is on their account. The third one down is, let's call it the principal. And I believe this is the, uh, the interest. All right, now I know these numbers look pretty big you see me calculating here, um, divided by 10 to the ninth power. Cool. So according to this, 36 million, 36.4 million was paid out. Yep. 36.4 million was paid out. All right. So I can see here on the third one down, this is their original principal. And I can see next to it that that is the amount of interest they made. Uh, likewise, I think this next one is the penalty they paid, like the premium they paid to either end early or whatever else it was. Cool. All right, so this person made, we'll take the interest divided by the principal. They made 8.15% APY. Sweet. And their earnings is this big number divided by 10 to the ninth power, which 
These are the atomic units of genius. And after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, after nine decimals uh, is the genius amount. And then the first nine decimals to the right, that's like the change. That's like the atomic units, the smallest units of genius. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they made like 2.7 million genius. Yep. Multiply by the price. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, oh, one. So they made 18 bucks. Cool. This person made $18 for doing nothing. So if you make $18 an hour, this person made one hour of work without them doing any work. Cool. All right, so they made like what, what did I say, like 8.15%. So if they made 8.15%, for example, you know, imagine if they would have put down like, okay, so they, they had this money locked up for like a year, right? And they got all the original money back. But let's say, let's say they did like $10,000, right? That would have been $850, $815 for free just for doing that, just for doing this yieldy thing. And the, I propose that the yield is sustainable because if everybody's earning on Genius, I mean, you saw like the really shares rewards that people were making and, and minor rewards. If everybody's making this, uh, if everybody's making this yield and the price on average is going up, I mean, right now the price on average is going up, uh, that means that the yield is sustainable. Like most people, have run their miners for more than a year with Genius. So you go here, the Genius app, and it says day 531. So Genius has been running for like almost a year and a half. So a lot of people are ending their miners. And yet when you look at the price of these, uh, clearly you can see that the price is more on an upwards trend. So the revenue that people are making is sustainable. Now, a lot of tokens out there that generate yield for you, um, the yield you get is artificial inflation. So the yield is artificial. You're not really making any money. It's just the economy is changing. I mean, sure, you make money, but, but here I want to point out that the yield with Genius is, uh, it's from real sources of revenue. Not only is it from premiums and such that miners pay to do special things, but there's also like this royalty management area. Well, let's say there's these NFTs and um, NFT sales are a big part of Genius. Uh, right now, NFTs are collectibles and such, but um, with these Genius upgrades coming up, the, uh, the NFTs have utility, like financial utility. The NFTs will, they'll be able to amplify how much money you make using Genius. That's pretty cool. But let me go to this royalty management section. It takes a while to load, but this royalty management, I'm waiting for this balance part to load here. Let's see. With the royalty management, um, it'll show you how much funds are available right now that were revenue. And instead of waiting, I'm just going to go to this. I'm going to go to the performance page for Genius. Now, thank goodness I'm using Rabby. <laughs> Whoops, it erred on me. But thank goodness I'm using Rabby though, because it has a much better experience. Um, it appears that I'm using Rabby's RPC servers for these blockchains. But it's great. You don't you don't seem to get rate limited as much with the RP with the general RPC servers used for MetaMask. And you know, that, that makes a better overall experience. All right. Aw, sad day. This reminds me of like the original WWW, the original internet, the World Wide Web, AKA World Wide Wait. 
All right, let's look at another. Let's look at another miner. Now, sometimes you might want to look up the miner and see like the original amount. I, I mean, you can look up the transactions of a user and see exactly when they created their miner, and then you can determine well, exactly how much was their principal worth. You can do things like this. Let me go back some more. Let's see, cope meme, cool. All right, I'm gonna look for some more of these N minor things. I'm looking for ones that, so here's a group of N minor things and there's one, two, three. There's three like payouts that happened in this single transaction. That 10,000 genius payout, I already know it's because a genius day was summarized, so calculations happened. You get 10,000 genius for that happening. And they paid a, a tiny fee, so they were a little late. And this big payment here is their, uh, is their principal. Let's see. And somebody removing liquidity here. That's another way to make money with Genius. Another way to make money is to add liquidity. Like you can buy from the market or you can add liquidity. And add liquidity, you earn fees with it. It's pretty great. All right, so this one right here, this person, let's check this one, this transaction out, because here, this person will have like, they will have paid more gas because they would have summarized a day. And summarizing a day is pretty expensive. All right, so they paid $21 to end their miner. Now, the last person we checked, I don't remember how much they made. I forgot how much I said. <laughs> I should have written that down. But the last person we checked, uh, they paid like what, a few dollars to end their miner and they made money that was pretty great. Now this one, their transaction fee was $21. So let's look at this here. Let's, uh, oh, let me move this thing out of the way. Okay. So when you have a miner, you have your principal or the original genius that you used and you have your interest. Well, you also have the gas start. So you have like a fee for creating the miner and you also have a fee for ending the miner, right? So those are your expenses. So if those are your expenses, it's pretty important that we know what that is, right? So let me also put the Jenny rate. Okay, so for Ethereum, once again, it is Two, three, four, five, six, six, zero, one. So that's the dollar rate. All right. All right. So here's my little table spreadsheet thing that I'm making for this. All right, so their transaction fee to end, let's see, I'm gonna click this to see the cost on the day of the transaction. So it was $20.39. So $20.39 to end the miner. Okay, and they also summarized a day. Now to summarize a day, it it doesn't, it's not really worth it right now. <laughs> but the genius upgrades, it'll always be worth it. That's kind of cool. Um, but you know, we'll get there. Genius world is improving. So technically you could say that their interest was also another 10,000 genius. Okay. And B1 multiplied by this. Yeah, so they made seven cents. Definitely not worth it, or not worth it as far as the reward goes, the reward that you get for summarizing a day, uh, because that's what your miners need to do. Miners need to run calculations if calculations have not been done yet. Uh, but here is the total amount of genius. Now that's not the full principle, but I'm just gonna put it there in the meantime. Wow, $1,432, nice. Well, let's see if it was worth it for them. Profit, 
Okay, so profit's gonna be equal to these two numbers minus these two numbers. All right, but we gotta see the whole story of this. So, to get more information about this miner, I'm gonna go up to the logs up here. And remember, I'm gonna find the the Jenny token end miner event. All right, so according to this, I believe it was miner index three. Let me see, okay, yeah, the owner is here, and then next is the miner index. Yep, and then this is benevolence. Okay, yeah, it's written up here, great. And the principle that they were paid out. Now remember, I know that, I know that they received all of their principal. Let's see, total miner rewards, rewards paid out, penalty to miners, okay. Rewards pay out. Okay. Uh, if they received the same rewards paid out as the total minor rewards, then that means they didn't pay any fee. Because how Genius works is it will take the like premium for you ending late or ending early. It'll take the premium that you pay to do that, the fee. It'll first take it out of the interest amount. All right, so here we go. This is how much they made. So the principal is gonna be this um, divided by 10 to the ninth power. I'm dividing it by 10 to the ninth power because 10 to the ninth power is a billion and this big number, that's the total units of genius. Like they're called atomic units. They also call it something else that I personally have a little bit of a beef with, but what am I gonna do? All right, so the principal was like, today it's worth $1,300. It was probably worth more back then, but whatever. This principal, they can create another miner with this over and over and over again and keep generating this yield, this interest. And let's see how much the interest was. It's this number, I'm gonna copy paste it. And close this, divided by 10 to the ninth power. Oops plus 10,000, sweet. All right, so there they made, okay, like 8.5% APY, or not APY, they made 8.5% return on investment. Okay, penalty to miners, let's see, rewards payout, penalty to miners, no penalty. Oh, and that's also how I know there's no penalty. It says right here, penalty to miners. That's the first, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh item. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice that this item here is the first one. It's index topic one. And here's topic one, that's the owner. Yeah. All right, and then here's the minor information after penalty. So the minor information, I think these are the days. Yep. Okay, so this was exactly one year minor, 365 days. And it started on day 161, genius day 161. So yeah, this ended a few days ago, four or five days ago. All right, cool. So then therefore, yeah, they made 8.5% APY. Cool. Now, I wish that this um, performance page was working because I could show you what Genius reports the performance is. Now, what Genius reports as the performance that people are making, it's not exactly like right. It's kind of like an average that you'll make if you have the smallest miner possible. But to see what people are really making, you just have to look on the blockchain. Or you have to look at your own, uh, look at your own miner and see how your own miner is doing. Sweet. So as discussed before, like with my miner that I loaded up on here, uh, the Genius app will tell you what your APY is, what your annual like 
your annually based yield is, but it'll also tell you your return on investment, which is cool. All right, and here's the performance. All right, it's not loading the APY, fine. <laughs> However, this is cool stuff here to see. Uh, for those of you don't, who don't know, the penalty counter, um, the development team, um, from what I witnessed, they went back and forth on what to call that. I didn't even know what to call it. Um, generally, I really like to pride myself, not pride myself, but I really like to come up with good words to describe things. Uh, that one really shook me too. But this number, the higher this number is, the higher this number is, it means that more miners are ending early and people are just doing things that are not what they committed originally to doing. And so, you know, other chains like Binance and such, their penalty counter and, and Pulse Chain, their penalty counter is much higher than this. Like it's almost a hundred. It's like, like five times higher than this. Well, what that means is the amount of extra revenue earned for miners is going to be even higher. So the higher this number, the higher this extra revenue number is going to make. So if you want to know where to make the best yield and where to make the best money mining for Genius, you're going to want to do it on the chain that has the highest penalty counter. Uh, so FYI, this is actually a premium level. Um, that's a word that came out, uh, the Genius upgrades, they call it premium level. It's a much more appropriate word. So cool. It also shows you how much Genius is locked up. Um, last I calculated, I think like almost 70% of Genius is locked up. So 70% of people are mining or 70% of the, the economic energy is being used for mining. And people are earning, it looks like at least 8.5% on a yearly basis. Yet, uh, yeah, I'd say that this, this yield is stable. Uh, what you had in the beginning of Genius is you had, well, you had a lot of price dropping, right? And to be frank, yeah, that's, that's gonna happen with any asset, uh, especially, you see, it takes these blockchain assets time to mature. Some of them just suck and their price is always going to drop. But even if you have a great asset like Bitcoin, it's gonna take time to mature. There are going to be people who FOMO'd into buying that asset. There are going to be people who are just like, uh, maybe I should buy it because I'm gonna make money. And then they had to pay for things. Or then the price doubled and they were just like, oh my God, I doubled my money. Oh my God, I doubled my $100 and now it's $200. Oh my God. So then they sell it. Yeah, that's just what happens. It takes a while for the market to mature. And I think that there's incredible evidence showing that Genius's yield is sustainable. When we look at things like Hex, yield was not sustainable. Uh, and the tokenomics are broken, all sorts of problems. And then we look at Zen, people call it forever down coin, but hey, people, I guess people are still making money there. And that's the important point. Then again, it makes it a terrible asset to hold onto when it's always losing value. Uh, here, this makes Genius equally a good token to hold on to for now with this uh, price on average going up. Let's see how it's doing on Binance. Okay, on average, it's more so going up on Binance. Uh, Polygon, same thing. I mean, I think it's quite big and obvious that Polygon's shooting up quite a bit. Let's go to Avalanche. Yeah, Avalanche, uh, Avalanche broke a zero here. It, did really good, like 5X in price. Down from the year beginning, uh, Avalanche went 5X in price, did better than here. Oh, it even broke a zero there. And on average, Avalanche is going up pretty good too. And when I say Avalanche, I mean Genius for Avalanche. Because Genius is on multiple chains. And what's cool is, you know, there's actually an artificial intelligence influencing the economics of Genius. And what's amazing is you can see these five different environments. Pulse Chain's the other one right here. You can see these five different environments. And with these five different environments, with these five different environments, you can see that all of them are on kind of the same trajectory. And that's being influenced by artificial intelligence. Freaking blows my mind, it's pretty cool. Genius is showing the world how financial artificial intelligence can work. And this is really cool. All right. 
Uh, by the way, Pulse Chain has the highest price for Genius. Uh, let's see how that's doing over here. I'll look at the performance page. But yeah, back to this miner. This person has a decent sized miner, pretty nice. Uh, they made $111 of interest and a little bit tiny blip extra that was from summarizing a day. Let's remove it. All right, it's still like the same amount. 0.01% higher because of that. Uh, but let's find out how much gas they paid for this. All right, that's important. So the miner index is three. All right, and this is the owner. Cool. Go back to this owner that we found here, load them up. We're gonna look for the third miner that they ever created. Thank goodness. This user has very, very little history, which is good. <laughs> I don't have to sift through tons and tons of information. So let's see, about 388 days ago, they ran a function to summarize a day. So that was their first experience with Genius, pretty cool. Let's see, where is the start miner functionality? I believe this is it right here, this starts a miner. So let me copy and search that. Oh, by the way, that's not how you, this genius contract doesn't show you how you create miners. The genius contract will just show you how people collected rewards. So let me open up this into a new window here. There it is, that contract, that contract right there from this guy. All right, let me copy this contract address because we wanna look at, uh, here is filtered by this token holder on the genius token contract. So I'm gonna look at, it's not a token, Maybe I can do address. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, anyways, I'm unable to do it like that. So let me just search this address. And it's a contract, cool. Whew, okay. You know, I think this is gonna be easier if I just search the owner's, yeah, I already know it's easier this way. If I just search the owner's address and the stuff that they've been doing, paste. So you can see I'm using the URL area to search things and stuff like that. Yeah, instead of pasting it here, just cause I'm used to that. Uh, just a little tip, if you use the URLs, you can navigate through things a lot quicker. All right, let's see this person. Um, their miner was like 365 days. It served that many days, they ended it like four days ago. So I'm gonna look at about 370 days ago. Okay, we're at 180 days ago. All right, burn Zen. All right, we got somebody using Zen as well. Pepe token. Huh. Let's see if this was a collateral miner. Oh, I think it was. All right, so let's see. This could be the transaction. Let me look real quick. Uh, I know it could be the transaction because the contract is DCA and it ends in 4444. Uh, that contract, ooh, man, that contract is, yeah, there it is. Okay, that contract is, how do you say it? It's the uh, Genius Vault, so it's where people create things with credit. It's not this miner, because we're looking for Minor index number three, this is minor index number one. I know because of this stuff. All right, so it's not that one. All right, so I'm gonna look for another contract. I'm gonna look for a contract address here that begins with a bunch of fours and ends with fours. You know, I can't help but to feel that there's an easier way to look this up as well. Yeah, there is. 
it has great filters. Okay, so I'm looking down here. Okay, there's another one. I'm guessing this is minor ID number two. Remember, we're looking for minor ID number three. Ooh, man. This is not bueno information. All right. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. It really couldn't be this one because they didn't end early. But this appears to be the minor contract address. Ooh, this person even claimed auctions. Wow, so this person even won um, miners by auctioning for them. That's pretty sick. That's pretty awesome. All right, this is a very tiny miner. All right. Okay, this miner was created on day 161. Let's see how many days ago that was. 531 minus 161. Yeah, like 370 days ago. Okay. Let me look back at the 370 days ago stuff. Looks right about here. See that? Uh, chances are it is this miner, and it has to be this miner. Yeah, it's got to be that miner. There's no way it could be any other miner. Here's them. Oh, they're doing moon pay. Pretty cool. Yeah, there's no way. It, it's got to be this. All right, so here's how I'm going to double check my work. So here's where they create the miner. Right? And here's where they ended the miner. Right? Uh, I'm going to attempt to... to like put some identifying information together to, ident to properly identify this miner. Okay, so here's where they created the miner. Logs. This looks a lot like miner creation to me. Yep, it's miner creation. And this is the, this is the, um, Genius debt, genius credit. That's the genius credit rate. And here's also the genius credit rate. It's the same number. It's definitely this minor. All right, and here, yeah, it even shows the credit rate down here, number. And then this is the original amount of genius credit. which is also gonna be down here. Same amount of genius credit. Whoops, yep, there you go, perfect. All right, so this is the miner. This is the transaction where they created it, and man, the gas price was a lot more expensive then. What's the gas price now? Gas is nine way. The gas here was almost five times as much, wow. And they paid at the day of creation, they paid $24.86. All right, $24.86. All right, so for profit, well, let's look at it like this. The principal, they still have the principal no matter what. So really the profit is the interest minus the gas paid to start the miner and minus to end the miner. So they still profited $66.70, sweet. Which is an APY of 5%. Nice, pretty cool. So if this were $10,000 worth of genius uh, today or back then, whatever, they would have made 500 bucks on it, nice. So yeah, these uh, these gas fees do eat into this, but I think what this shows us is that, I think what this shows us is if the person's miner was half the size, right? Like, let's see profit or let's do something like interest versus gas, right? And the interest versus gas is like, Okay, the interest was like 2.5 higher. So what I'm gonna say is, let's take this number, two point whatever, 
divided by the principal, or, okay, this number, I've just done a lot of this math, so if I may just like not explain myself real quick. Um, this minor ran for one year, so one year minimum principal profit. So what this number represents that I just calculated here, this sweet number, um, this is how much it, this is how much principal you need to put down on Ethereum for one year in order to profit. That's a good amount of principal to have to put down, but it's valuable information to know. This is very valuable to know. Let's make that bold. Let's, uh, you know, highlight it. So this makes Ethereum pretty expensive to use. Uh, with the Genius upgrades coming out, I'm telling you, man, the gas to start, the gas to start is at least half. So let's let's make a copy of this real quick. And the gas to end is stupid small. It's incredibly small. Now, when they ended, they summarized a day. If they didn't summarize a day, uh, it would have cost them less than half. It would have probably cost them 10 bucks. Uh, so really what we can say is the one year minimum principle to profit is you, on Ethereum, you need to have at least 400 and something dollars worth of genius right now to most likely profit. Um, and that genius, you lock it up for one year. If you lock it up for two years, even sweeter. You're gonna make a higher percentage and it's gonna be nice. So let's say, yeah, let's say that this is the uh, genius upgrades. The gas cost to start is about half. It's about half as much, which is huge savings. And the gas cost to end is about a tenth as much. It's insane how much less it costs to end mining with the new like genius thingy. Um, and in fact, the ending cost is about the same. It's about the same all the time. And it might even be less than $2 worth right now. So when the genius upgrades come out, very bullish, get your genius today because it's going to be the same genius with the upgrades. Um, man, that's like, yeah, you'll only need like a hundred and something dollars locked up for one year to profit. That's awesome. Now, when it comes to like pulse chain and um, polygon and such, it's a significantly less amount of money you need to put up to profit. Like you can probably put up $10 on Polygon. Yeah, yeah, you can absolutely put down $10 on Polygon for a whole year. Just save that for a whole year. Save that $10 in profit. Like drive enough yield to profit. Yeah, man. So this is where, this is what people who are using Genius AI aren't telling you. Like they may tell you, oh, Genius AI is cool. I like it, it's the future. But they're not telling you that they're making money. In fact, I'll do an analysis for one more thing. And this one inspired me. I saw like one of the largest accounts um, had a miner that they ended and it was pretty cool. But let's jump back to Pulse Chain. So Pulse Chain has the largest price so far. Uh, you know, its liquidity is pretty low though. I mean, it's pretty low liquidity, 30 grand of liquidity. Um, Polygon is, it's, it's appearing that Polygon is where it's at. It has $115,000 of liquidity and liquidity on Polygon keeps growing. Looks to me like people are very bullish on Polygon and it looks like they don't give a shit about Pulse Chain and I don't blame them. Um, but I still love what Pulse Chain stands for. It stands for, um, you know, uh, decentralization, freedom. It's important stuff, but you gotta be able to actually make it do that in the context of freedom and anti-censorship. Polygon's probably gonna win the race on it. But I gotta say, Ethereum's definitely the sleeper, especially with the upgrades. You're gonna drastically lower the gas costs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and your profit margin is even higher because of the lower gas costs. All right, so back to this whole like Pulse Chain, Polygon thing. Yeah, the penalty counter is about 
it's more than double of what the penalty counter was or the premium level was for Ethereum. So in general, uh, like look at this day, holy carp, this day, 1.5 genius per share was paid out. That was the performance. And it looks like your typical day is like 0.333 genius. Yeah. 0.331. Cool. Uh, this number actually goes up slightly over time. It, yeah, it's just how it is. It's like, it's kind of like you make compounding interest too when you do these things. So genius pays compounding interest. Not exactly, but uh, that's just a metaphor used, but the longer you run a genius miner, you are going to make more yield. That's just how it is. I'm gonna put away my my zero Dr. Pepper habit. I'm not sponsored by these people. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I drink this water all the time. Penta. It's great. And look at this, like more than 10% of the supply on Pulse Chain, more than 10% of the genius supply is burned. That's all from the AI adjusting its supply to uh, make its token more valuable. Cool. All right, let's see. Let's see if it'll show now on Polygon. Please show. Lowers the blockchains. And while that loads, yeah, let me find another another one to analyze. Let's duplicate this sheet. All right, and here's the new one. <clears throat> so good job to that person. They made money with mining. Um, and that's how people are making their money right now with Genius. And maybe I just don't follow their accounts, but yeah, maybe I just don't follow their accounts, but the reality is what? Oh, this person created a miner. Yeah. This person created a miner. Oh, this is the miner creation thing. Cool. But yeah, this person created a miner for the maximum amount of genius that you can do. Let's load that up. Let's see. Mm hmm. Here we go. Oh yeah, here's a nice end miner. Let's load that up. All right, their payout was five billion genius. Okay they probably had like a max miner. I think this is one of the ones I was looking at too. Let's see. Okay, so it cost them $18 to end the miner. Okay. Okay, so on the day of the transaction, it was about $17.93. Okay. $17.93 to end the miner. Let's see what it was to start. Well, let's see what their earnings were though. Let's go to the logs. We look down for end miner. Once again, here it is. Miner ID. Okay, the miner ID was number two. Okay, we'll find that one to find out how much it costs to make that miner. Uh, here's the principal payout. Yep, that's the maximum size miner. Here's the interest. And the penalty was zero. Yep, cool. This is a miner to be envious of. Oops, let's get this out of here. So 4.444 billion genius. What's interesting about genius is there's, there's a maximum amount of genius that you can put up like to create a miner. You can't put more than 4.4 billion genius. And the interest was this amount. I'm gonna copy and paste it into my nice little formula. Uh, they did not make any summary rewards. Four grand in interest, bruh. 13.6% APY. Damn, is that because it was so much uh, genius principal? Eh. 
Not really. Um, after depositing like 162 million genius, you don't get any more of a bonus. So they already got the maximum APY bonus after 161 million, but they did 4.444 billion genius. That's like, man, that's like one and a half. That's like, this is 1.5% of the total supply on the whole Ethereum network. That's pretty, pretty insane. All right, let's see how much gas they paid to start this miner. Uh, clearly they made a lot of profit here. Congratulations to them. They made a lot of profit and look at that. Price, price still going up. Sustainable profit, that's awesome. Hmm. All right, we're gonna find the second miner, this actually the third miner. This miner ID is 012. So zero, one, and two, that's the third miner they've created. Um, how many promise days was this miner? Uh, they created on day 19, 500 days. So this served 500 days, 500. Okay, 1.369, hey hexagons, we've seen that number a lot. Okay, so, which reminds me, yeah, never mind, that's not it. <laughs> All right, so so they served like like one year and four months, about. Cool. So if that was 500 days, let me see the actual APY they made. So, Okay, so the actual APY they did on an annual basis was 9.92%. And the, their return on investment was 13.6% about. Sweet. All right, come on, let's see how much it costs to create the miner. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, let's go back into, well, what day did they start? Day 19, it's currently day 531. So about 512 days ago. Oops. Don't. 512 days ago. All right, so there's gonna be one of these ones right here. It's probably this one. All right. There's where they ended the miner, and this should be where they started it. They mint, okay, they minted an NFT when they did this as well. So minting an NFT, that shit is costing a lot of money. It's like, it's almost unreasonable on um, Ethereum to do that. All right, let's see, there's the NFT. And here's the mining contract. Hmm. I don't trust it. I don't trust that that's it. Let's see. Okay, so this is, oh yeah, this is the number one account. I'm pretty sure. Uh, where's the number two account, but nah, this is number one account. I know that for a fact. I shouldn't second guess myself. But here, I mean, this is probably the first miner they created. Well, either way, it was about 512 days ago. I think this will be a safe assumption for the gas cost of how much gas they paid. All right, so, okay. On the day of transaction, Gwei was 17. Ether was worth less than it is worth today. So $11.61. 
Bam, look at that. All right, so this, uh, this whale earned almost $4,000 and it cost them less than $30 to do it. And they got a genius NFT. Whew, that's pretty sweet. So for running a miner for 500 days, <clears throat> Yeah, well, running a miner for 500 days, uh, this isn't exactly the case. Because it was run for more than one year. It was run for... So this, just ignore this metric right here because it ignores things that were important about this miner. So there you have it. This person made four grand. They paid less than $30 to do that. Uh, this person paid, put it back to, this person paid like $45 and they made like 66 bucks. They did that with like a grand, $1,000. Not bad at all. I mean, this is kind of like, this is a little bit, this percentage here, this is more than what CDs are paying, like banks. This is more than what banks are paying people. And to be frank, it's more than what investment firms and like Goldman Sachs, uh, well, I can't speak for Goldman, but pretty sure for like Morgan Stanley, pretty Morgan Stanley, JB Morgan, et cetera, whatever they have, they can't touch that. But when you consider the gas costs here, yeah, it's, it's kind of on the same level. Key takeaway, go genius upgrades. All right, well, hey, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. And not only do I hope you enjoyed it, but spread the word. People are making money with Genius. So, you know, not everyone's gonna be able to watch this whole video. I mean, if you're hearing me now, then you watch the whole video, cool. I don't know if I could do that, but not everybody can watch this whole video is my point. So what we can do to help other people know about this is, you know, if you like to write, make a blog post explaining this, you know, check out the transactions I looked at, look them up yourself, make a blog because some people, they learn better by reading. Maybe making a blog is not your thing, right? Maybe making graphics is your thing. So make an infographic to show, Hey, people are making money with genius mining. And this is the kind of money they're making. And from infographics, memes can be created from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it also inspired you to help spread the word because this is what we have. People are making money with Genius AI. They're being a little silent about it. Maybe they don't want to be attacked by the Federal Reserve or the IRS. Uh, maybe they don't want their brother, sister, mom or dad or friends to come to them and be like, hey, you're making money? Like, come on, you gotta pay me back. <laughs> or whatever it is. Or maybe they want to borrow money all the time and, and uh, the person making money feels awkward to tell them no and would rather they don't know. So they're not telling you about this. They're not telling you about all the money they're making, but I'm telling you and I'm showing you proof here. So, all right, if you make any materials for this, please let me know about it. Um, I would love to know about it. Um, I'd love to share those materials with other people. You can find me in t.me slash Jenny crypto. That's the telegram room. Make sure you type in that link into your web browser to go to the correct Telegram channel. There are many scam channels out there, um, many scam channels out there that just wanna take your money. But if you go there, you can talk to me directly. I'm always hanging out in that room. It's also jenny.to slash discord. Type that into your web browser. It'll bring you to the discord room. Once you're in the discord room, there's a main chat. You can find me in the main chat as well. I chat it up pretty much all the time. I read almost everything everyone writes. Um, it can get pretty laborious at times, but I really love to know what you all think about things like this. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's Genius. People are making money with Genius. They're making money by mining. They're making money by whale hunting or releasing shares for people that forgot to release shares. Um, doing four shutdowns, so we haven't checked that out. Yeah, people are making money with, the geni with Genius and the Genius economy. And let's blow that open. Let's let the world know that, hey, here's a great DeFi app. 
You can use it on Pulse Chain, you can use it on Polygon and barely pay anything. Uh, the bigger whales, you can use it on Ethereum and uh, it's sustainable. It's also sustainable uh, income, sustainable passive income. And that's like, that's like the holy grail. And Genius has done it. Awesome. All right. See you all later. Enjoy the video. Please share it. Like, subscribe. Yeah, I should have told you that in the beginning too. But it helps a lot. And it helps get the word out. So let's help other people. Let's help other people uh, you know, make money with crypto. And people are hearing about scams all day long. So if so, you tell them about Genius. It'll get their attention away from all the scams out there. Right? So let people know about the products that work. Right? Stay away from the scams. Use the product that works. Uh, and Genius is there for you. So, see ya.